They cooked. They supplied workplaces with food. They sold sweets all over town while always carrying their license plates around the neck. The ones in the center of the city, besides serving food, were used as prostitutes. Prostitutes found easy clients among the white settlers. The Portuguese were far from home and family and the indigenous Indian women and black slave women were both targets for sexual liaison. In the early days, Portugal was such a tiny country with only um, just over a million people and setting out to colonize practically half the world or convert it, it was just crazy what they were trying to do. So their official instructions to people in, in the early years in Brazil were, were to just to breed up as much as they could. A colonização foi essencialmente masculina. A mulher portuguesa. In Brazil, the colonization was essentially male. The Portuguese woman, the family, did not come to Brazil. You can count on one hand the number of European women, in contrast with the number of European men. So, the biological integration of the African woman with the European man was natural. There wasn't this ethnic exclusiveness that took place in the United States. The sharp distinction between white master and black slave began to blur in a country where white men, born either in Portugal or Brazil itself, had little choice but to mix with non-white women. The Portuguese differ enormously from the British in the whole colonial enterprise. There were different forms of domination, whereas the British, at least towards the end of the 19th century, bitten by what was then called scientific racism, divided people up according to their supposed race and prohibited contact between them and encouraged the development of racial communities. The Portuguese did not do this. I mean, they did to a certain extent, but much less. The British also fornicated, but they didn't recognize their children as such, whereas the Portuguese did, incorporated them, taught them to speak Portuguese, and I think that's the way they expanded. The extent of sexual relations between master and slave led to thousands of mixed-race children. Some were made heirs. Most were made slaves. The dominant Catholic Church knew of such disparity, but turned a blind eye. More than that, it jumped through legalistic hoops to make slavery itself not only acceptable, but justifiable as a way of spreading the faith. Indeed, slave owners were obliged by law to baptize all their workers. Hundreds of ornate churches were built to be used by whites and newly converted blacks. <laughs> 